Just a quick disclaimer before I start the video today. If you are someone who gets sensitive on this type of thing, I would advise that you not watch it. Otherwise, enjoy. It's time I have a serious talk about this. It's something that has been circulating around. People say they know what it's about. People say that it's non-existent. But then you get people like this fucking spastic here claiming it's all in your head. On our head. Oh no, I'm holding you accountable for your own feelings. Go vision blocks. You uplifted nose job twit. Shut the fuck up. So about a month ago, I've had something serious happen to me. To give you an idea, it stopped me doing so many things, including making this video. At the same time, it's made me avoid doing anything, and it's made me think about a lot of things, including the people saying just to get over it. I'm making this video today because it's a thing which affects millions of people every day. Something that goes unnoticed. Something that people tell you to get over. Something that people don't fully understand and how it actually works. Depression. This is the word has been heard everywhere, but a lot of the time, people understand this as it's a sadness. They think it's something that people will overcome easily. I'm actually here to talk to you about that, how everything that you've heard of, that YouTubers have said, or that you've heard in the paper, that it's all bullshit. Depression is a form of mental health on a person that can affect them in a whole heap full of ways. It's just not sadness. It's a mix full of sane, undetermined emotions such as anger, fear, sadness, or unsatisfaction. While people are feeling this form, there's no sudden cure. There's no easy way how to get over it. It's an area which has this person's well-being, either physically and mentally, which can take weeks up to months of professional help to overcome. Even if you are one of those type of people who have overcome depression, it's still going to come back to you in a different way. While we see thousands of videos saying that depression is easily curable, depression should be dealt with by seeing your friends. Depression is a lot more than going out, doing something, distracting your mind or even seeing your friends. It's a lot more serious than what people think to say it is. And it is a massive cunt of a thing to have. And it doesn't feel nice. While a lot of people don't experience it the same way, some people will have it as somebody or something wrapped around their brain or their body, preventing them from doing anything. Or even at times where the energy just feels sucked out out of you or your inspiration is just destroyed. When people say they think depression is easy to get rid of, these are the types of people who don't fully understand what depression actually is because it's never actually happened to them before. When someone says they are depressed and showing no signs of interest, motivation, or anything similar, then that's depression. If someone who is happy, but says they're depressed because they didn't go and grab McDonald's or they didn't go out last night to see the new Black Panther movie, well then, that's not depression, that's just their choice. The issue is that depression can have many real life effects and future effects to you. Some of these include mental health watch, having your weapons taken from you, and even going towards your health record, which, depending on what type of job you're going to be looking in the future, can actually be really, really serious. The worst part about it is how the people around you feel. And the thing is, depression doesn't affect just you in general. It actually affects everyone around you, such as your family, friends, and co-workers. If you're depressed and no one knows about it, then that's being selfish about it. But if you actually tell someone about that you're depressed and you're miserable and everything, that's going to affect them just as much to try to help them out because they don't want to see their son, their daughter. They don't want to see their best friend feeling sad and miserable. They want to see you happy. They want to see you full of motivation. They want you to be able to have this beautiful, rich, fulfilling experience in the human world. The problem is people with depression will feel like crap, like their life has no value, or better yet, they feel like they'd be better off dead. And this is what I felt like during my time with depression. And I still feel like this today. And it's sad that I thought about this because it affects so many people. And while you are caught in this strain of depression, as I said, it does affect those people around you trying to make you feel a lot better as well. They're taking time and effort just to make sure that you are alive, that you are well, that you don't have these bad thoughts or even worse, go through suicide. And it does feel bad because people lose their self-worth. People feel like they give up. They feel like the world would be better off without them. And this is how I felt. And it really felt shit. It's the shittiest feeling in the world and I don't want anyone to go through this feeling or to be proven that depression is all in your head because that's a lot more than depression. 
If you know someone who is suffering from depression or a suicidal thought, please look after them. Help them. Make sure they seek professional help. And for the love of God, comfort them. So that concludes today's video. Make sure you leave a comment down below on what you'd like me to talk about next. And make sure you leave a like on the video as well. The support is always greatly appreciated. Make sure to subscribe for new content and social media will also be down in the description below. For now, I'm Xenogenic and I'll see you in the next video.